Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. The man behind the camera is Classic Tractor Fever's own John Harvey, snapping a photograph of a favorite work of art by Andre Harvey, a friend, but not a relative of John's. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's another one of Andre Harvey's favorites. It's a uh, 53 formal cub. The Farmall Cub has long been a favorite of a lot of people. Built between 1947 and 1964, more than 200,000 of these small chore beauties found their way all across America, one garden and one truck patch at a time. As for Andre and his cub, it was pretty much love at first sight. I saw this, this cub back here at the end of this guy's driveway and I just jammed on the brakes and read the sign real quickly and came back with my money. <laughs> It's just very appealing looking, like, like, a, like a nice dog, you want to pet it, you know. <laughs> I mean, it looks friendly, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Andre's attraction to this kind of old machinery is certainly nothing new. Any, anything old iron, anything old I like, you know, especially mechanical. My mother used to call me junkyard because uh, when I was 10 and 11, I would ride my bicycle to uh, this old country junkyard in the middle of nowhere and just sit in the back of this old Packard and swat the bees, you know, <laughs> it was sort of fun. Well, a lot of the old stuff, it's, you just boil it to clean it up and it starts running again, you know, sort of nice. I like that philosophy. Philosophy, it turns out, has a lot to do with Andre's admiration of classic tractors in general and of his little farm all cub in particular. To me, it's like you, you have access to an object that has been through this time in history whether it's just plowing a field or whatever. but And it's sort of by, by say, touching the hood or something, you're, you're going back to a, a time people were doing their own plowing and stuff like that. that. That's what I like about it. I don't know, they always were such a symbol of the, uh, you know, the little independent man who with his little lot uh, big enough for a formal cub. And it always remind me of uh, freedom, I guess, you know, that kind of thing. Andre does have a few more down-to-earth reasons why he and his cub get along so well together. Well, I like the red paint, and I like the fact that you can crank it if the battery's low. You know, that's, I mean, you could always crank it. You know, nowadays, you can't do that, you know. It's sort of, many a times uh, growing up, uh, you know, our batteries were always dead, and we could crank them. You know, it's fun to drive. It's not, it doesn't fight you or anything. It just feels good to be on it. You feel like you're plugged into it, you know. Some tractor folks are sticklers for historic detail. Classic tractors have to look and sound just the way they did when they were new. Andre, however, likes the idea of adding his own last minute inspirations. It's an old, old Uga horn. Well, it's, it's probably from the late 20s, you know, it's, it's hand operated, it's not electric. I always like the sound of the Uga. The formal guys probably wouldn't like it because it's not original to the tractor, but I like it, so it's sort of fun. I mean, this is a little bicycle thing. The dog likes it. <laughs> but of course, you wouldn't have that on a regular farm ball. What does Andre do when he's not driving his 53 farm ball cub? Well, the answer to that question brings us back to what John Harvey was taking a snapshot of when this story began. We refer, of course, to the pig. Yes, Andre has made a name the world over as a sculptor. This is... Uh, our gallery, which we've been here since, um, I think, 77. Andre Harvey's amazing art gallery is nestled along the banks of the Brandywine River in the historic Brex Mill. And Andre's much more than just a sculptor of pigs. He crafts cows and goats, turtles and penguins, and seals. Oh, my! Andre has also immortalized a 1937 Chevrolet pickup in bronze. What's next? Well, can a farm all in bronze be far behind? Sculptors, you know, as a generalization, they like the way things are shaped. They like form, and that has a great form to it. I don't mind just looking at it. I actually thought about doing a, a subject with a uh, with a tractor in it. I just right haven't back. gotten there yet. Meanwhile, Andre the sculptor and Andre the tractor man have begun to find one another. Their first steps together take the form of a one-of-a-kind classic tractor hood ornament. Well, I always liked uh, the old hood ornaments from the 20s and 30s, and so I made my own. So it's, it's a little flying frog. 
Very hard to catch. Now, watching all this, you may have gotten the impression that Andre Harvey is a one tractor man. Not so. This is a uh, high crop A for high crops. I figured this was getting lonely and getting this one would give my cub a friend. That's what I told my wife. She didn't, didn't go over that. I mean, because they go together. You know, I have to get a B and a C and an H and an M. I guess that's how it starts, right? That's exactly how classic tractor fever starts, which means, of course, Andre better get busy, because before he knows it, he's gonna have a whole lot more classic tractors, each in serious need of an original Andre Harvey hood ornament. 